Hello guys, I am Shane Davis, Twitter, your comic book veteran. I'm here with Yancey Lynn, and today is the day we are talking about Rob Liefeld not doing Deadpool anymore. And this is, to me, kind of big news since uh, my first appearance of Deadpool, obviously. I loved the character right away, was a big fan of Rob's art, and this article is very emotional in a lot of ways if you are a fan or even a hater of Rob. Deadpool creator Rob Liefeld says goodbye to Marvel. I'm a little sad, but retiring on my own terms. Let's get into it. I think there comes a time when a lot of artists eventually say, I have to slow down my output a little. I'm not as young as I used to be. Now Rob himself, he has said that he's experiencing pain in his hands after drawing for years without any such discomfort. In his own words, he says, it's just a function of the eyes and the hands have to cooperate with ambition. I can sense that this is getting harder and harder. I want to just put my own gut rules up and deliver it on my own terms. So he's pretty much saying that this is going to be his last work with Deadpool, which he has been showing covers of and so on and so forth on his Twitter and stuff. He is doing another book right now, though, called Last Blood. It's a mini series that he's putting up on sort of kind of like a webtoon online comic thing, I guess, in a way. So he is still cool with the kids, y'all. He's trying to get in with the new crowd, I guess. And he's also talked about, I'm not sure if he's really was serious about it, but he actually talked about making his own Superman comic in like reserve and maybe even putting it up online for free. And that way, when Superman becomes public domain, he already has his version of Superman. He's already been working on it. He can go to print with it. There's been a lot of talks of different things Rob was going to do. But to me, the interesting thing is um, leading up to Deadpool 3, I think the only Marvel movie coming out in 2024 that he's actually saying, I'm I'm retiring from this character altogether. Now, I've never really understood the details of this, except from what I've heard inside the industry. But Rob basically gets paid for Cable. He gets paid for Deadpool. That was part of his agreement when um, he created the names of these characters and designed them. He insisted Cable's name had to be Cable. He gave Marvel four designs, could pick any one of the four designs, but the name could not change. Told Bob Harris, no, his name is Cable. He gets paid every time. Marvel historically even tried to change the name of Deadpool and Cable um, to like Soldier X or something like that and Agent oh, X or something oh, like that. Yeah, all that Weapon X and all that stuff that they tried, yeah. right? Try to, to basically quit paying Rob. Now, what does that mean? He only gets paid for the comics? No, he gets paid for everything. Anything with Cable, Ooh. anything with Deadpool, he gets paid. So Rob cannot draw Deadpool and still get paid for Deadpool. I mean, that's just the reality behind it. Very smart man with that deal. Does he need to draw Deadpool? No. Does Marvel pay him well to do Deadpool? Maybe, probably. I have no idea. And I, and a part of me feels like maybe you could get Rob to work on Deadpool more if you basically change the page rate. I don't even know if that's what this is. It could also be health reasons. Let's get into it. Well, I mean, he did say it's health reason, but at the same time, he also says... I'll continue to enjoy the character, but I feel like I've told all of Deadpool that I need to share. So it's kind of like saying, putting a pin on it, saying, yeah, I'm done with telling Deadpool stories. You guys are done getting any more Deadpool stuff out of me. Adios. Whether you like it or not, love it or hate it, his name brings people to the table to start buzzing and talking about him. Whether it's, oh, his art is horrible, or, oh, he represents the 90s, it doesn't matter. That's why even when you do a Thundercats reboot, everyone's like, you need a Liefeld cover. And he's doing, I've seen he posted his second issue, Thundercats cover. So it's not just a one shot thing for him. It's not just doing one cover for the series, you know? So when he says, like, I am done with the character, I kind of feel like, well, maybe he really is done. But on the other hand, maybe it's because it's kind of like one of those Stanley situations. Guys, I've seen how much money you made. It's time I get a bigger slice of the pie kind of thing. Then what Yancey's pointing to is there was a point in time where Stanley renegotiated what Marvel owed him to keep using his name in the limelight to, to endorse these characters going forward. And in the end, Stan got it, whether it was different ways, appearance fees and stuff. Stan got more money from Marvel, even though they had agreed on this sum. So the reality is, is Rob can kind of play hard to get. And if they really want him going out there and saying good things about Deadpool, maybe they pay him more money. I mean, I can't help but look past a couple of things here. He mentioned Strife character he again created for marvel which is rumored also to be in the movie there are speculation that that character could be in the movie 
for people know Stripe is an evil clone of Cable. All of these things are possible that maybe it's health, maybe it's old age, maybe he's burned out on the character, or maybe yet at the height of Deadpool coming out, Deadpool 3, and they need a lot of support for this film. The only thing that's going right in Marvel right now. Maybe, just maybe, you need to butter the bread for good old Rob to <laughs> stand on the red carpet. I mean, I mean, he's got leverage here. This could be a way to renegotiate like his money on Deadpool. Well, I feel that at 56, he is still kind of young to retire for a comic artist. We hear about artists working into uh, the 80s and 90s even. Joe Kubert historically worked into his twilight years. I mean, a lot, just because you're old doesn't mean you quit drawing comics. It's usually the other way around. Uh, the mainstream quits hiring you to draw comics. It's not that you can't draw comics anymore. I feel because Rob is kind of he, Rob is pretty much a smart businessman. So I feel that there may be some negotiations happening behind the back. So we would hate to see it. a generational talent like Rob just vanish off into the sunset. Right. And talking about the generational talent, I want to leave it on this end here. Um, lately, I've, I've seen Todd McFarlane talk about the American comic book industry and how it's dwindling here. Rob is talking about retiring. Who are the new young creators the talent that will drive the american comic book future forward and whether you hate rob or you love rob this is sad news either way because who's replacing him who's the next rock star that's going to drive sales upwards and get a huge spike in collectability and interest in the american comic book industry who right now in the american comic book industry is creating the next deadpool no one that's the problem so we're actually at this point of watching talent from the 90s, have one of the highest selling points in, in our lifetime of comics, retiring, and nobody's taking their place. Nobody of any note, nobody of any talent, really. Nobody that's putting butts in seats when it comes to buying comics. So this is interesting times we're in for the American comic book industry, especially with crowdfunding. If you guys will, please go check out our new crowdfund right now. As we're getting ready to go to print with Inglorious Rex 2, we are offering a second chance on my monster beat em up mayhem. Go check out Inglorious Rex 2 up on Nine Lives Comics or Indiegogo. Getting ready to move on up to $27,000, which will put our book way over $284,000 combined for Inglorious Rex 2. I'll leave you guys with a trailer for this smash hit comic that you can only get at Indiegogo and Nine Lives Comics. Uh, get ready, get ready. All in my chains, ain't no way that I can slow down. I'm laced up, look how I shake the ground. Can't touch the crown, but you can kiss the ring. Close your eyes and see how I live the dream. I'm too smooth, MJ with the lane. Ah, uh, don't be fooled, I can't be with the team. This is over their heads, how high can it go? I'm too over the edge, got my eyes on the grow. And we right back at it, keep them right on their toes. Look at the way that I move, this is all that I know. Cause I got the drive, I put it in gear. Line them up, I don't see no competitors here. If it ain't first place, we really can't settle for it. Listen up, listen up, get ready for it.